Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Thursday. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Today is Thursday. It's a red day. It's day three. Where am I red? It's day three. And Miss McGinty's going to be coming around. She might stop by your classroom today. She wants to know how you're doing with iReady. Are you doing 15 minutes of math every day? Are you doing 15 minutes of ELA every day? Ms. McGinty wants to check. If you need any help, she'll be happy to help you. What else is going on? Oh, yeah. Yesterday, the blue team did a great job. Pat yourselves on the back with a fire drill in the afternoon. We're going to try and do a fire drill today uh, for the red team this afternoon as well. Also, I'm really excited that, um, you know, boys and girls, we are a Title I school. And as a Title I school, we have a very special opportunity and privilege. We actually have something that some boys and girls don't have in their school. We have a compact, which is sort of like a promise between parents, students, and teachers. It's very official. It's a very important document. Your teachers are going to share that with you at some point in November. I've also emailed it to your parents. So if you're really excited to look at it, you could look at it um, tonight even because your parents have it. But let me tell you a little bit about this. So it talks a little bit about the fact that in our district, we want to ensure that we're following our mission. And our mission is that the Neshaminy community builds futures, like your future, boys and girls, by empowering each child to become a productive citizen and a lifelong learner. So think about that, a productive citizen. How could you be a productive citizen? How can you be respectful, responsible, and safe, both in person and online, making sure you only visit appropriate websites? And a lifelong learner. I'll tell you a little secret. If you keep reading every day for 30 minutes, that's a good way to be a lifelong learner. Work on iReady every day for 15 minutes, ELA and math, good way to be a lifelong learner. And in the compact, there's also a very important um, ceremony that takes place, which you can do at home with your parents. You might do it with your teachers where your parents will actually, they'll stand, they'll raise the right hand and they'll pledge to let their child's teacher know when he, when your child is experiencing difficulty with something at home, they'll pledge to read aloud and listen to their children. And how about the students? My goodness, I will let my teacher and family know if I need help. I will read on my own and with my family every day. I will work on my reading, spelling every day using materials my teacher sends home. And I will work hard to become a better reader, writer, and thinker. I love it. There's even a place on the compact or the promise where everybody can sign that they went through the ceremony and that they agree and that they're promising to do their best. And if you, boys and girls, can get that signed by your teacher. If you can get it signed by yourself, you need to sign it. And if you can get it signed by your parent, and I don't care whether you use pen or whether you use cami, however, but if you can get that back to your teacher with all the signatures before the Thanksgiving break, you, my friend, can earn a white ticket. Dun, dun, dun. That's pretty awesome. All right. So have a great day. Have fun and I ready for those of you at home. Enjoy your work from home, either synchronously or asynchronously. And look forward to everybody. Don't forget tomorrow's Friday, slightly different schedule in the morning. A lot of synchronous and asynchronous reading and math and writing in the morning. And then in the afternoon, pretty much all asynchronous for science, social studies and specials. Have a great day, everybody.